Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you like talking about movies way too much like I do, how about clicking on the subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's new movie, Feel the Beat. Maybe doing one of these. A dance competition. I want to be on Broadway. How are we going to do that? I'd say you have a point zero 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 one percent chance of making it. Feel the Beat was released on Netflix on June the 19th. It is 107 minutes long. It is a comedy, drama, family movie. It is star Sophia Carson. Let me go ahead and get my girl crush out of the way. Sophia Carson is looking very beautiful in this movie. I mean, that ponytail. Oh, it's so sleek. I wish I could get a ponytail looking that good. I don't know who Sophia Carson is. If she was in Descendants, she does play Evie. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and continue talking about Feel the Beat. So honestly, when I saw the trailer, I was just like, oh, it's going to be like super cheesy type of movie. I'm just like, I don't know about this. I do, like I said, I do love Sophia Carson. And I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and give it a watch. I mean, so many movies came out this weekend, you guys. I do like dance movies. They usually tend to be pretty cheesy if you think about it. I was um, not having very high expectations seeing that we were having a Disney Channel star coming on this. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is going to be like super pg super like corny nothing about this movie you guys is unique or new it didn't bring anything new to this kind of genre but it was very entertaining and it wasn't as cheesy or corny as i was expecting it to be i know a lot of people who are maybe not into these type of movies are gonna be like yeah no stephanie yes it was that corny it was that cheesy so this is about april who is played by sophia carson who is from wisconsin a very small little town she is the best dancer that's there makes her way to the big apple and is trying to be a, a broadway star now certain circumstances pretty much happen that pretty early on in the movie which we actually see in the trailer that pretty much at the end get her blacklisted from trying to perform on Broadway because of those circumstances other bigger circum financial and living circumstances drove her back to Wisconsin which of course you know she's not happy about we've seen this a lot where the selfish talented star from the small town you know makes it big whether it be in New York or California or wherever it is that they're trying to make it big has to come back to the little small town I mean it, it's always a small town now again like many movies of certain circumstances they come up that can give her the opportunity to better her career right so we had that selfish type of deal going on that she's only helping but to help herself of course we can have a little family movie like this without some sort of a love story going on even though we did get a little love story that was pretty much just really sprinkled in there i appreciate that they didn't really focus too much on the love story i mean mind you they did already have a past and uh, they do make it clear that they have a past it may sound like i'm bashing the movie i'm really not you guys because quite honestly i really really enjoyed it i honestly did oh, i think this is a great movie to watch uh, with uh, the whole family especially if you are a dancer if you have kids who are dancers or you just enjoy dancing movies i think you're really going to enjoy this one uh, they have some really nice routines it has a lot of really cute funny moments you guys so i really do like i said i know i keep repeating myself about the family time but um i know some of you are like i'm so over family time with the quarantine things but you know i'm just saying for me it was not as cheesy and corny as i was expecting it to be but just be prepared that this is not the most unique type of movie and it doesn't really bring anything really new to this kind of like genre but it is entertaining so with that said i'm actually gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn rating i had so much fun with it you guys especially when uh, a particular song came on of course if you've seen the movie i'm pretty sure you know which song i am talking about because it's an old school song and you can't not not dance when you hear that song so if you've seen uh feel the beat let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you and of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye